Greetings, everyone. My name is Joe Bartolo. Today, I wanted to talk about God's work and his plan that helped guide me in my journey to carry out our mission and to be a servant leader to our Good Samaritan Society family. My current role, I serve as the administrator here at the Albona location. My journey has been built on a foundation of love, compassion, and faith. Love and compassion to care for others and to formulate strong relationships and bonds that will last a lifetime. Faith that God will provide us with the tools, the patience, and perseverance needed to carry out his mission. As a teenager, trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my future, I was really unable to decide what to study and where to go. My now mother-in-law, who was a nurse at the local hospital, had been approached to teach the CNA course here in Algona. Knowing that I was unsure what to do with my future, she approached me and proposed the deal. She would accept the challenge of teaching the CNA class if I would be one of her students. Like most of our Good Samaritan employees, I had ties to the local nursing home. I would often go there in the summertime to help and spend time with the residents with activities, whatever needed. My grandma at the time, she was the activity director at the center there where I grew up. We had family that worked there, we had family that lived there, and family friends with loved ones there. Although I really had no idea, uh, you know, what people did there, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to take advantage of the CNA course, so to find out more about something I already enjoyed. So I accepted the challenge and the journey began. We started our classes and our clinicals both at the Algona Center here. I absolutely fell in love with every part of being a CNA. Being able to listen to the stories, building relationships, and ultimately caring for the most vulnerable. To me, there was nothing more rewarding than being a CNA. During this time, I enrolled in nursing classes. My mother-in-law was always interested in what we were doing, what classes we were taking. She was there to help me if I had any questions. And then when we did clinicals at the hospital here in Algona, she would always take me for every opportunity that came up for an IV, for medications, for injections, anything you could think of that they had, she would take me so I could better understand the hands-on part of it um, and of the nursing world. While working as a CNA in Algona, like everybody else, I built a lot of strong relationships with residents, families, and coworkers. One of the strongest relationships I was able to build was with Carol Funnemark, our director of nursing at the time. Carol was simply the best. She was knowledgeable, she was caring, she was confident, she was personable, but most of all, she was a woman of strong faith. Like most great leaders, she was always there for me personally to mentor me and to strengthen my nursing and my leadership skills. As I transitioned throughout my roles, I transitioned from LPN, RN, charge nurse, QAPI, infection control, Medicare rehab, Carol was always there. She was always there to help me, support me, and offer prayer when needed. After 30 years of working with, 30 plus years of working here in Algona, Carol announced her retirement in 2014. I was fortunate enough to be hired as her successor and the op had the opportunity to train and learn from her. When I reflect on these two mentors that helped guide me in my path to finding the love for long-term care, a couple of Bible verses came to mind. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 6. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. Luke chapter 6, verse 40, the student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. These women are two of the best in the industry, and I was fortunate enough to learn from both of them. I learned their physical skill sets, strong work ethic, love and compassion, faith, and how to be a servant leader in order to be successful. These traits are what has allowed me to build strong relationships day in and day out with our residents, our families, and our coworkers that has helped formulate my why for continuing to serve the Good Samaritan Society and our Algona community. In 2016, our family was given the devastating news that my mother-in-law was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer that had spread through her brain and other parts of her body. She had chemotherapy and a surgery and ultimately the doctors decided a few months later that there was nothing more they could do. She was placed on comfort cares in her home for the last days of her life. Along with the help of our family, I was privileged enough to provide hands-on care to keep her comfortable in the last days of her life. Just a couple of short weeks after she had passed away, Carol and her husband Bill were on vacation in Florida with some family friends. One evening at dinner, 
Carol collapsed and became unresponsive and was taken to the hospital down there. It was determined that she had a cerebral hemorrhage. We received a call shortly thereafter from her family wondering if we would admit Carol as a resident to our location. At that time, she had a tracheostomy. We were, without hesitation, we of course said yes, even though we really didn't know a lot about tracheostomy care. We were going to make sure we figured out everything we needed to in order to take care of her. Carol was eventually admitted to us and unfortunately was ever unable to gain consciousness. After 10 short days, Carol passed away surrounded by her family. Along with our staff, I was once again privileged to provide care and comfort to Carol in the last days of her life. Ironically, the day I reached out to Bill to get his blessing on this, uh, this story with Carol, he reminded me and brought to my attention that it was the exact five-year anniversary of Carol's death. God works in such awesome ways. I often reflect upon and think about how he puts people in the right place at the right time. In full circle, God had two of his best caregivers trained and mentored me and others in preparation for tasks that I will never forget and that I will always cherish. In full circle, I was able to give back to those who gave so much to me. Every time I think about that, I'm absolutely taken back. As I continue my journey and my role, I reflect on another Bible verse, Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and I will watch over you. I was mentored by the very best, and I know each and every day they are with me, guiding me and supporting me through my journey and caring for others. To be the best servant leader to our Good Samaritan Society, I'll go in a family. I've had the opportunity each and every day to make an impact on people, some large and some small. But you never know when God is going to put us in the right situation at the right time. Through the past couple of years, this pandemic has really challenged each one of us and has impacted our residents, their families, our families, and the staff. During this pandemic, I had one of the most impactful events of my career. We were in full outbreak status with COVID. And I remember specifically the nurse calling me, telling me that one of our residents' health had really declined. His family was aware and they were unable to make it. So without hesitation, I donned all my PP, I went down to his room. He was laying in bed, he was unresponsive with labored breathing and long periods of apnea. He appeared to be comfortable otherwise. As I sat with him for the last couple hours of his life, I held his hand and talked to him. As I began to sing hymns and recite Bible verses, tears rolled down his face. I continued to recite until he took his final breath. Along with the familiar Psalm 23, I remember reciting the following, Revelations 21, verse 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eye, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. I've never felt God's love and presence more than that very moment. In reflection, and as mentioned earlier, I truly believe that God places people in our lives to prepare us to carry out his work. God's presence is among us each and every day, especially in our buildings, and guiding us as Good Samaritan and Sanford employees. As the new year begins, I pray that we all continue to open our hearts in constant preparation for the many opportunities that we have to make an impact on someone's life. In Christ's love and God's blessings to all of you. Thank you.